After creating the appropriate levels, the next step is to create the exterior wall object. In order to create a wall object, you must be in one of the floor plan views. In your floor plan views in your project browser, you will select Finish Floor 1. While in the Finish Floor 1 floor plan view, you will select your Architecture tab. In the Architecture tab, you will select the Wall tool in the Build section of the ribbon. In your Properties, you should see one a basic wall selected. What you will need to do is take select one of these basic wall options and what you're going to do you're going to edit this wall. You will need to click on the edit type icon. The type properties dialog box will appear. Right beside the type section you need to select the duplicate button and we're going to rename this wall to say exterior 4 inch brick and select OK. Next beside the structure we will, we're going to edit the structure of this wall this will take us to the edit assembly dialog box for this function we're going to leave this as structure one for the material we're going to change the material so it's a soft wood lumber we're going to select this as our material for our framing member which is the stud for the thickness, we're going to enter the width of our 2x4 stud, which the actual width of a 2x4 is going to be 3 and 1 half inches. And press Enter. In order to add another component, we're going to select layer 1 and click on the insert button. For well, the next component that we're going to put in is going to be the sheathing. The function of the sheathing is a substrate. So we will select the down arrow under function and select the substrate option. The material for the sheathing we will need to find in our list one that says plywood sheathing. So we'll select plywood sheathing and click on OK. For our thickness for the plywood sheathing we're going to use one half an inch. So we'll type in half an inch and press enter to add another component we're going to select layer 1 and select insert the next component we're going to add is going to be the building paper so we will leave the thickness for the building paper at 0 to add another component we will select the layer 1 and select insert the next component we need to add for our 4 inch brick wall is the airspace. To add another component which will be the brick we need to select layer and select insert. Since this is our finished material, it is our exterior material, the function will be finish 1. The actual thickness of 4 inch brick is 3 and 5 eighths of an inch. For masonry units, you always subtract 3 eighths of an inch from 
the nominal size which in this case the nominal size is four inches we need to include on the inside of the stud another component for this wall so we will select layer 7 and click insert we want to make sure that this particular component is inside the stud so we select layer 7 and we're going to move that particular layer down so it is outside of the core boundary the finish 2 is assigned to our component of the wall that is inside of the building if you want to preview the wall if you go down to your bottom left corner of the edit assembly dialog box you select the preview button this should allow you to see the preview of the wall as it will look in floor plan view you see the gypsum board the 2 by 4 stud the sheathing the airspace and the 4 inch brick after adding all of the components that make up the exterior 4 inch brick wall we will select OK in the edit assembly dialog box in the type properties dialog box we will also select OK this will take you back to the finished floor 1 floor plan view